Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we'll uh, see the construction and working of zinc carbon battery. Okay. Before that, a quick revision of what is primary cells, primary batteries. We saw this in our previous video. It is nothing but a battery or a cell in which chemical reactions can't be reversed by passing an external current. Up external current, they be so chemical reactions cannot be reversed. Such batteries are called as primary batteries. Primary batteries ke examples we have dry cell or Leclan cell. Okay, dry cell kisko bolenge hum? Uh, the cell that does not contain fluid electrolyte or fluid component. Then we'll call uh, call it as a dry cell. Dry cell, okay? Fluid components nahi hai isme. Clear? Next. Okay, so uh, the zinc carbon battery. The zinc carbon batteries are popularly being used from like past 100 years. And uh, it was first introduced in the year 1866 by George Lionel Leclanche. And yes, this uh, zinc carbon batteries are broadly classified into two types. One is Leclanche cell and the other is zinc chloride cell. Okay, we'll talk about the Leclanche cell working and construction here. Okay, so see, construction may we have got see for a battery to be constructed, we need what An uh, anode, cathode, electrolyte, three major components, right? So, in a zinc carbon battery, the zinc is acting as a anode and carbon is acting as a cathode. Okay. In your zinc container, you have got electrolyte and in that electrolyte, a rod, a cathode is fixed. Okay. So, this is nothing but your zinc container, okay, which is acting as a anode. Zinc is acting as anode, carbon is acting as cathode and we have got a mixture here of some components that is acting as an electrolyte. Okay. So, this is my zinc container which is acting as anode. This is a a carbon rod a graphite rod which is acting as a uh, cathode okay and this is nothing but a mixture of um, zinc chloride manganese chloride and ammonium chloride okay and with, uh, which is acting as a electrolyte okay three major components done okay let's talk about zinc carbon uh, batteries the construction of zinc carbon batteries the zinc carbon bat batteries are constructed uh, see, in a zinc carbon bat uh, battery, we have got a zinc container, okay? a zinc container, which will act as a anode. Okay? For a battery to be constructed, we have got three major components, right? One is anode, the other is cathode, and the next is electrolyte. So here, in a zinc carbon, zinc will act as a anode. Carbon will act as a cathode. And the mixture will a mixture of ammonium chloride, zinc chloride, and manganese oxide will act, act as a electrolyte. Clear? So now, so uh, the construction may you have got a zinc container. Zinc ke container may your mixture is present. The uh, mixture of all these three components will be present. The electrolyte will be present, and your carbon rod is inserted in the middle of this container. Okay? And yes, we are saying that this is a dry cell. Dry cell may there will be no liquid, uh, no fluid components, no liquid components. So, abhi jo hamara solution hai, this electrolyte, this is not in a form of a fluid. It is, it is in a form of a paste. Okay? This mixture will be in a form of a powder. This may we are uh, adding starch to make it a thick paste so that is the, it doesn't leak. Okay? Clear? Getting? Next, uh, the construction is done. Now let's see the working what's happening here actually is this this zinc container is acting as an anode we are saying right so anode may kya ho ra? oxidation is taking place oxidation means what losing of electrons right so at anode what's happening the zinc is being reduced to zn plus 2 it is releasing electrons Matlab, oxidation is taking place here Whereas in, at the cathode side, what's happening? The manganese oxide is being reduced from plus 4 oxidation state to plus 3 oxidation state. This is manganese, right? We have got ammonium as well. So, NH4 plus plus MnO2 plus 2 electrons give rise to MnO2 OH plus NH3. Now, how is balance? Kaisa ho ye? See, what's happening? Ammonia is being reduced from NH4 to NH3. Ammonium is being reduced from plus 4 oxidation to plus 3 oxidation state. So, I will tell you that the reduction is taking place. Obviously, right? So, see. So, one hydrogen is being reduced from ammonia. So, what is happening? It is being added with this MnO2. So, it, it is giving rise to MnO2. 
O into OH. This one hydrogen is uh, combining with this oxygen and oxygen is two times one and two. Balanced? Getting? Let's see again. Here we have got four hydrogens, two oxygens. Let's see here. One, two, three, three, three hydrogens plus one hydrogen. Four hydrogens done. Next, two oxygens, one oxygen, another oxygen. Balanced chemical reaction, right? Now, so at anode, what's happening? The zinc is being oxidized. So, matlab zinc kya ho raha? Zn plus two ban jara. Release of electrons. Oxidation matlab release of electrons. And reduction means gain of electrons. So, the uh, NH ammonia is being reduced from plus four oxidation to plus three. Oxidation state. So, here what is happening? NH4 is being reduced to NH3, and that one oxygen uh, and that one hydrogen is being uh, absorbed by this MnO2, manganese oxide, and this reaction will be formed. Clear? So, oxidation is happening at anode, and reduction is happening as at cathode. If we see the overall rea reaction, what happens? Let's cancel out this two electrons and this two electrons if you want. So what's happening here? On the LHS, we have got Zn. And on the LHS, we have got NH4 and MnO2. Zn plus NH4 plus MnO2. Giving rise to what? Zn plus 2 plus MnO, OH plus NH3. Clear? This is the overall reaction. Easy, understood. It is very simple, right? You have got a zinc container which is acting as anode. Uh, mixture of ammonium chloride, uh, zinc Ammonium chloride, zinc chloride and manganese oxide which is acting as your electrolyte and carbon rod as acting as a cathode. At anode oxidation takes place, at cathode reduction takes place and this is the overall chemical reaction. Clear? So now the uses. Where can this uh, primary batteries can be used or the zinc carbon batteries can be used where? In clocks, calculators, flashlights, transistor radios, right? All these are the uses. What can be the advantages? See, these batteries will be uh, small in size. This will be compact, small in size. And it is inexpensive, obviously. And uh, it is portable, <laughs> obviously. And uh, the disadvantages, what is the major disadvantage? As we are uh, saying over and over again, that primary bat batteries cannot be uh, used, over, uh, used again. Once it is dead, it's dead. Once it is exhausted, we cannot use it again. So this is the major uh, drawback here that the primary batteries or this zinc carbon batteries is not rechargeable. Okay? So it is causing a lot of waste. If you use it, it's like use and throw. You're using it, you're throwing away. So what is waste ka increase ho ja raha, right? So the, uh, this can also be the disadvantage. Okay, so the major disadvantage is that we cannot use it again. I hope you understood this topic. Okay, so that's it for this video. Inshallah, in the next video, we'll talk about the secondary batteries. Okay, so thank you.